Hi, I'm Mary Beth Quinn, a painter from Nashville, Tennessee, and I'm going to show you today how I did a commission taking a painting from this to this. And here is my intro when I very first got started. I'm getting ready to start a commission. Um, and this wood panel, it's 40 by 40, is going to be what I'm going to paint over, although I will be keeping really substantial parts of it, like uh, this big white area, um, a, lot of, a lot of the colors in it she still wants, but we are also making some really big substantial changes. So here you'll see me just diving right in, and what I'm gonna talk about today with this painting is how to take a painting all the way because this is a lesson that I keep having to learn over and over and over. You start enthusiastically, you have a plan, and somewhere in the middle, typically, I start feeling like it's it's not coming together or I like it but it's just not knocking me out. And what is it exactly that I was going for again? And you sort of get lost and feel like maybe you're not gonna find it. And in the back of your mind, you can even be thinking things like, I just don't think this is gonna ever come together. And somewhere in there, I will go through the same process that I always go through. It's sort of an emotional process. And then I remember, oh, that's right. You just keep going. You just keep painting. It's everything's going to be fine. Just keep painting. You're not supposed to know exactly what to do next. Um, if you keep painting, the painting will show you. And so really, this is what I'm doing here. I am doing a series of layers. I know the colors that I'm going for. Um, the client really loves teals and emerald green, and she wanted the little pops of pink and orange. Um, to show through and she wanted it to be botanical but not overly botanical um, so I accomplished this mainly by and I do this with a lot of paintings I just layer I will uh, make really bold colors marks um, brush strokes and then I will cover over them with um, a glazing layer that pulls it all back now you see I've flipped it over so I can get a new perspective. That always helps immensely. I know that in that bottom left corner, I wanna keep a lot of light. Um, but other than that, I'm just trying to figure out a composition that works. Um, I keep painting some structures and then I, I sort of deconstruct it again. And so it's, it's layering and then um, bringing back some boldness and then and layering over some um, something to tone it back down. Here you see me adding in a little bit of light lavender. I'm just trying to break up all of the blue and teal that's going on um, just so you have some contrast and it really stands out more. Um, just searching, really. That's what painting is for me. It's just searching. I, I never go in with a huge plan. And here you will see um, I'm doing some sanding and uh, at creating texture with that as I do it and also revealing some colors and marks that might be below. In a minute you'll see that I um, also am rubbing it with a little bit of rubbing alcohol. Um, that's just a white rag and I rubbing in those dark parts. It's hard to see on the video, but up close you can really see um, what it reveals underneath. Because I create so many layers, there's always something to look at underneath. So that was glazing medium in that um, bottle that I just put in there. I am getting ready to cover the whole canvas with a layer of very light turquoise or teal um, green and it's because I put so much glazing medium in in it it's highly transparent so 
I put it on and then I use a great big brush to brush it, brush it, brush it, brush it, and it will slowly uh, smooth it all out and also reveal a bit of what's underneath. But it looks, it looks some like um, you're looking through a foggy window, which I, I like that. That is very interesting to me and intriguing. Um, in places, as you'll see, I'll, I'll rub off that glazing medium so it's not so heavy. Now you can see I haven't filmed all of this. I've filled out some of the colors again and now I am adding some tissue paper for some collage elements to just break up some of the open spaces and to add some interest. I found once I did this that I really, really loved the effect on this darker area. Um, it, it reminded me of something very fragile, um, but beautiful. And so there you see the several places that I've added those. We're very near the end now. I, at this point, I was starting to get very happy with what was happening. Um, there's just some close-ups that I did from another angle. But the, all the layers are showing through, and at this point, I was like, yes, there it is. And it really did uh, show me, eventually, where to go, but I just had to keep painting to search for it. So here's a little timeline that's near the start where, uh, where the, all the colors were very bold and dark. That's after a, a layer or two of glazing. bold again and then going back and here's the end product I hope that if you enjoyed this you will subscribe and feel free to come visit me on Instagram or at my website